Hey guys, Metal Viking 82 here, back with yet another collection update. Uh, I got stuff from like four different distros I've got to show uh, this time, so a lot of stuff to show, but before I get to that, I just want to give a quick shout out to a really cool lady that uh, I'm sure a lot of you have probably already subbed to her, uh, but if you haven't, then check out uh, Darian, aka Foxy Pancakes. Such a cool person to talk to. I recently became friends with her on Facebook, and she's just really cool to talk to. And like I said, she's her channel is awesome. She's got CD reviews, vlogs, discussion videos, things like that. Definitely uh, check her out and give her some support. Um, like I said, she, I've talked to her. We try to talk just about every day when we, you know, when we can. But um, yeah, really cool, really cool person to talk to. Um, yeah, so Foxy Pancakes. You're awesome in my book. So, getting started. The first thing I got is actually not from any distro. This got delivered uh, from Barnes & Noble. It's one of two uh, CDs from this band that I ordered. And hopefully the other one will be here, I'm hoping, tomorrow or and definitely by the weekend. But that's uh, My Dying Bride with Turn Loose the Swans. Finally got around to picking up the first couple of My Dying Bride albums. I had a 15% off coupon for Barnes & Noble and the price was just right. So... Uh, next up, this next little stack all come from Bind Rune Recordings. Great label. Uh, Marty puts out some killer stuff. And uh, this just arrived today as well. And the first one is uh, Urukai with Dragons of War. This is the uh, DVD version, which I don't know if this is the only way it comes. But, um, yeah, very cool stuff. And I'm, I'm a sucker for this type, this type of packaging. I love DVD case uh releases and the a5 digi packs but if you never heard urukai basically kind of like a mix of black metal elements with i want to say for lack of a better term i guess like dark ambient type stuff very uh tolkien and lord of the rings themed music really awesome stuff check this out it's a one-man project too i believe next we have pest with hail the black metal wolves of belial Never heard this band before. I know there's actually, I think, a couple different uh, bands called Pest, but the reason I picked this one up is I saw in the description of it that Werewolf from Satanic War Master is actually in this band, and uh, or was, I should say, because I believe they're split up. But, uh, yeah, I was listening to this earlier, and it's just really good black metal. I mean, it's hard. if you like Satanic War Master and anything else that he's basically done, then uh, check this one out. You, you can't go wrong, really. Uh, next up is a band called Ephotic Under Veil of Dark, and I picked up one of their other releases. They've only released, I think, a couple of EPs. Both of them were uh, self-released, I do believe, and uh, they're no longer together. And I picked it up for like a dollar or something in the Half Price Books outlet store, and I really enjoy it. So when I saw he had this, I decided to pick it up, though I'm not really thrilled with this packaging because, you know, it's just really... Kind of cheap, of course, and then here's where the disc would slide in. But as luck would have it, since uh, Season of Mist sent me a freebie, they gave me this little envelope that it was all stuffed in because you know it didn't come with a case, and I just got the disc slid in there. So all I gotta do is kind of pop it open, slide it out, and less chance I'm gonna ruin the disc over time. Ah, another one that uh, I've recently uh, become acquainted with, and I absolutely love. Uh, what I've heard from this band. I've got one other album, and uh, it's funny because the hype sticker, I guess you can call it on the front of the case, when I got it, said this is the uh, philosophem of the modern age or something like that. Their modern metal scenes philosophem or some bullshit like that. But this is um, I Shall Become with Requiem. Amazing black metal band. And then we have... Uh, I really don't know how to pronounce this name. Ne Nekoshwin with Azimus to the Otherworld. Uh, I'd always listened to a few songs of this band, and I thought, you know what? It's time to actually get a full-length CD. And uh, really love the cover art. And uh, even the art on the disc is uh, pretty cool. Really looking forward to uh, giving this a thorough listening. And the last one from Buying Room is uh, Adam Kata, the, Emb the Embers of the Stars. Yeah, and uh, been hearing a lot about this band here recently. A couple people kind of told me about them, and I thought, you know what, I'll give this a shot. 
Sorry, it's been a long day. Give this a shot, and I listened to some of it on uh, YouTube. Loved it, and I had to. I had to get this. There was just no getting around it. Next couple came from uh, Unmerciful Death Productions, which is a uh, label and distro that I found when I was looking for the first uh, Knocked Leader album. And uh, if you like black metal of different kinds, you know, whether it's just straight up black metal or symphonic black metal, definitely give that place a looking because uh, they they got some pretty cool stuff and really quick on shipping too. And uh, first one is a Siranon with Semper Caliga. It uh, basically is a uh, all-female kind of symphonic black metal band from, I want to say, Turkey. But, uh, yeah, really awesome stuff. I had to get that one. I think it was only like 10 bucks. So, And then uh, we have uh, Seeds of Iblis with Anti-Koran Rituals. Next up is uh, stuff that I got from uh, Unmatched Brutality, which if you're a fan of brutal death metal... That's your place, because they've got some amazing stuff. Uh, that's where I got the uh, Brodekin CD that I showed not long ago that completed my collection. And I believe that Unmatched Brut Brutality is actually run by the guys of Brodekin, so that's that's really cool. And I'm glad they find kind of come back from the dead, if you will, and they're releasing some really killer stuff. Uh, first up, we have uh, Excommunion with Superion. And this is the reason I made this particular order this time. And I had this album, uh, or I should I say I have this album on vinyl. And I picked it up from a Half Price Books, like at a total blind buy. And uh, I looked him up when I was in there, and I saw that Maddie Way was in the band. And I was like, I got to check that out. And I'm glad I did. I never thought I would own this on CD because everybody said it was out of print. But when Unmatched Brutality, I guess, kind of resurrected itself, they found a bunch of... Uh, copies of the CD, and I'm glad I got this, and that's uh, Liturgy with Dawn of Ash, awesome, awesome, brutal death metal, and uh, essentially, if I remember right, I'm trying to remember, uh, yeah, this is pretty much uh, Brodekin with Matty Way on vocals, so if you're a fan of Brodekin, you can't go wrong with that. The next band is uh, one that a lot of people have told me were ahead of their time when it came to Brutal Death Metal. And when they were still around, they're no longer together. But, um, and uh, I had been meaning to check them out, and I kept forgetting about it. And then recently, uh, Runner JMA showed this CD in one of his updates, and I was like, oh yeah, that that's the band I was wanting to check out. And I went and looked it up, and dear God... So fucking good. This is our Orchidectomy, a Prelate's Attrition. The vocals on this are just so sick. I mean, yeah, you, you just got to hear this. If you're into brutal death metal, you have got to hear this. I would say this is definitely a band to check out if you're even wanting to just get into brutal death metal. The drumming, don't even get me started. And the last one from uh, them is uh, Tard with Disgorging Guttural Recurgitations. Another one that I've been looking for for a little while now and finally got a copy. And this last stack all come from Hell's Headbangers, which reminds me, I forgot something. I will be right back. And I am back. And I did get one vinyl, which is what I forgot to grab. I had it sitting on the stairway for me to do this. But um, I got one vinyl, and I'm not going to go into detail about it because... Everybody and their brother has showed this vinyl by now, and I just recently found out it's sold out, so I'm really glad that I ordered this when I did, and that is the uh, Satanic Warmaster Arch Goat Split. Ah, oh, cannot wait to give this a thorough listen, but uh, I mean, check out that artwork. That is just fucking badass. I love it. And uh, this is just the standard black edition because obviously the purple edition sold out really quick, as did the picture disc. So I'm just glad I got it. That's the important thing. And then uh, the CD version is coming out next month, and I'm definitely picking that up. But moving on, the first thing I have is my first material from this band. I'm so glad that I finally decided to get some. This is a Pro Fanatica with The Enemy of Virtue. This is a uh, two-disc set. CD1, and if I can get the damn thing to move, CD2, been meaning to get some stuff from this band for a long time, finally have it, as well as uh, Thy Kingdom Come, really glad to have some Pro Fanatica in my collection, I've 
listen to their stuff quite a bit. I mean, I've listened to songs here and there on YouTube and in various uh, compilation CDs, and just glad to finally have a full-length album from them. Uh, next, we have Gouge with Beyond Death. And one that I picked up after uh, hearing uh, Counterbeat talk about this, and a uh, really good Doom Death. This is Dwell with Vermin and Ashes. Kind of a dark cover, sorry about that. And the very last one is one that I'm glad to finally have a proper reissue of this, because I bought one other copy of this from Hell's Headbangers last year sometime, I want to say. And I don't know, it just didn't sound right, and the, it just looked kind of crappy, to be honest with you. But uh, this is the proper Drakkar reissue of Mutilation, Vampires of Black Imperial Blood. Just classic French black metal. You know, if you've not heard it before, definitely check them out. They're fucking amazing. I've been trying to get as much uh, mutilation stuff as I possibly can. So, yeah, that is my update for now. I've still got uh, at least a handful of CDs coming in the mail. So, eventually I'll get around to doing another update. But uh, I wanted to get this one out of the way while I had the opportunity. So, uh, yeah. Until next time, make sure you check out Foxy Pancakes, as I said, and uh, thanks a lot for watching and subscribing. Just about there to 300, as soon as I reach that milestone released, as far as I'm concerned, then I will make um, yeah, again, getting tongue-tied, I'm sorry. <laughs> I will make a video announcing the uh, start of the Q&A, and then eventually down the line I will get around to answering said questions, that is, if you guys even really want to ask me anything, so... Hopefully I'll get some response to that, because if not, I'm going to look like a total douche. So anyway, thanks again for watching and subscribing, and until next time, stay brutal.